All right, guys, I wanted me some shrimp, and I want it in a sandwich. Let's cook. Let's eat. It's Vittles time. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all might not get to see my beautiful, lovely face right now. But I already rinsed off these shrimp. We're going to dry them by patting them through some paper towels. If you don't know, my name is Stacy. I am a paper towelaholic. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're going to make us a sandwich. We're going to make a sandwich using bread. And we're going to make us a sandwich using lettuce. That is what we're going to do. We're going to flip, switch this thing up. Get some healthier options going. You feel me? All right. You want to get as much moisture off of those shrimp as possible. As much moisture as possible. All right. Go ahead and turn on your cast iron skillet. You want to get that sucker nice and hot, 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 hot. Yes, you do. You want it hot, 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 hot. All right, go ahead and turn on your nonstick skillet in your nonstick skillet. Before you start fooling with that butter, wash your hands off because you are playing with seafood. It is very important. Hygiene. All right, we don't want no contaminated areas. No, we don't. All right, we're going to get some butter in there. Pull that off of the heat for now. We just want it to melt the butter. Make sure the butter, make sure the bottom of the pan is buttered nicely, very nicely. All right, to that, go ahead and sprinkle in some garlic powder. Yep, I said it. Garlic powder. Put in a little garlic powder. All right. Yup, yup, yup. You can do this or you can omit this. It's up to you. A little Parmesan and Romano little parmesan and romano i'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the bottom of this skillet very lightly all right just lightly all right and that's what it's gonna look like do not put it back on the heat just yet to this hot skillet turn the heat down just a little bit add in your olive oil yep add it in there all right olive oil should be nice and hot now <laughs> it sure should all right, this is where we're going to add our seasoning to our shrimp. Let's go ahead and make sure they are, yep, spread them out real good. Go ahead and put some garlic powder on them. Put the garlic powder down. Look, we're going to check out this here adobo. Oh, yeah, let's go with some adobo. I know there's some adobo fans out there. Turn that heat down. Move the skillet over because it's a little bit too hot to add the shrimp right off right now. Be careful with adobo. This is a salty product. All right. So, you know, we're not going to add no salt because adobo I have found to be salty to me. It takes away from the flavor of my food, so I don't use a whole lot of adobo, you know. I use it sparingly. And yes, your seasoning is going to, if you do it like I'm doing it on this paper towel, some of your seasoning is going to come off. It sure is. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and get us some paprika. This is not smoked paprika. This is just regular old, plain old school paprika. We're going to get that sprinkled on there. Yeah. Flavor, flavor, that's what we going for. Get at a nice little toss. Toss it around, toss it around, toss it around. All right. I always remember, lost two to the countertop. We're going to wash those off. Yes, we are. We ain't letting nobody go. You know what I'm saying? Countertop clean, but... Once again, you're playing with seafood. All right. Get it a nice little toss. So y'all can see what's going on. <laughs> this is what it looks like. All right. See? Nice and seasoned really well. All right. We're going to go ahead and move our skillet back over to this eye. Then, we're going to drop them in there. Turn the heat back up. Drop them in. All 
All right, sprinkle with a little more garlic powder. All right. Then, you're going to scatter them on All right. Then, I'll spread them out a little bit. Alright, crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. On this electric stove, I got it at about a uh, 9. It's almost high. So you want the heat, okay? I want you to be able to see. There we go. Alright. All right, you can go ahead and put that back. Press that heat up. Clean this portion of the counter off. I always spray away from my food, that way it doesn't get in my food. And I'm talking about barely pulling it through, I just need just a little bit to clean that off. Washing my hands really good. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. I ain't really timing myself, but this honestly, this shouldn't take no longer than 10 minutes, y'all, in real life. All right, we got that getting hot. We got the shrimp cooking. All right, turn it up. All right, our first piece of bread. Okay, I got some um, Sarah Lee is what I have. Hold on, some Sarah Lee bread. Um. Art, art, artisanal. Yeah, there you go. Artisanal. Look at Stacy trying to pronounce words. Ah! <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. We're going to put that in there like that. That like that. All right. As that heat up and toasting, we're going to redo it again. We're going to put some butter in there. So we want to toast both sides of our bread. Alright, because we don't want these shrimp to taste like rubber and to continue the sinking process, they're done. Take them off the heat. Off the heat. Alright, now we're going to go ahead. Sorry for the rattling of the plate. Fix our sandwich. I know how to say sandwich, guys. Fix our sandwich. Yes. Grab us some leaves of romaine lettuce. I always like to peel the outer layers. I should have showed y'all, but I peeled them off. I peeled the outer layers. And yes, I've already rinsed this. And so we're going to grab three leaves. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. Kind of overlap them. You're going to want to overlap them. All right. Peep at your toes. Don't forget about your bread. All right. So this is this sandwich done two, di two different ways. All right. I'm going to grab a pinch of cilantro. Just a pinch. Kind of sprinkle some. In each lettuce piece of lettuce cup, all right. Then we're gonna grab some wrong knife. Where was my all right? 
we're gonna get us some avocado put some avocado slices in there and I like a piece in every like I like a piece of it in every bite seriously I like to be able to taste it I sure do for this you're not going to use any sauce you're not going to put any sauce in there because you want this one to be uh, as low carb as possible I like onion so I'm going to put some purple onion in there this is like I said this is low carb as possible and I'm I'm talking about that onion shave so thin like super thin see thin thin okay so you want to get those thin slices and I like onion onion is good has a lot of health benefits um, cancer fighting agents uh, bacteria uh, onion is very very good very healthy for you very healthy avocado is uh, rich in a lot of fats that we need oh my god that looks oh uh, divine all right so we're gonna go ahead and put some butter in here and you're gonna do the same thing you did before all right you just coating the bottom all right so we put in some garlic powder and you take it off of the heat because you don't want to burn your butter okay in some parmesan all right parmesan parmesan and romano all right, and we're gonna swirl it around and let it brown. Swirl it around and let it brown. And you can flip it back over because I want that to brown just a little bit more. All right, so we got our lettuce cups, right? With the avocado and the purple onion in there and some cilantro. We're gonna hit it with a little lemon juice. I have regular lemons. But I had some concentrate in the refrigerator, so we're going to use the concentrate instead of the regular lemon. We're going to hit it with a little bit. Just when I say a little bit, just a little bit. All right. Then we're going to put in some shrimp. Okay. Will the shrimp cause it to wilt because they're hot? The answer to your question is yes, baby. <laughs> Hit it with a little more lemon juice. Alright, hit it with a little more lemon juice. And at this end, you could put uh, guacamole if you want, but y'all have avocado in there. Some mango salsa uh, would be really good. And I have to show you guys how to make a mango salsa, but mango salsa right here to go on there. And then you're going to take the cups and grab them don't forget about your bread there we go and you got a boat it's kind of like a boat right a little shrimp boat a little shrimp boat yep you can sprinkle it uh i know y'all be crying about oh my god it's delicious oh my god <laughs> And let me set it off. You can hit it with a little parsley. Just to give it more flavor. Oh my Jesus himself. Look at that. Gorgeous. Low carb. Freaking delicious. Is all I got to say. Alright. Set that over there. Because I'm going to tear that up in a minute. Real life. Real life journey. Alright. Cut that off. Here's what I like. We're gonna take some. In fact, we use this right here. I need a shrimp, and I can dig in that pan because ain't nobody eating this but me. All right. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. Should have shook that up first. Alright. And put it a 
little bit in there. You don't have to use the whole lot. It's like, see? That much? Not that much? Stir that around. And I'm using spicy brown mustard. Uh, it just gives it a little kick. This is just something I like to... Uh, put on my... I like to mix it and put it on my corn dog or when I used to eat ham, ham and cheese. But it's really good. Try it, don't try it. Like it, don't like it. It's up to you. Ew, if you don't, ew. But anyway, it tastes good to me. Alright. So it looks kind of wide. You can't even get to see the yellow tones of it. I wish you could, but the light is keeping you from seeing it. But anyway, moving right along. All right. See, your toast is nice and toasty. Ooh, it's hot on both sides. So you're going to take that over here. All right. We're going to toast it. I mean, toast it. <laughs> We're going to put... A little bit of this spread over here. Alright. I just put some on both sides. Because I like it. It's delicious. Alright, sure. You have been elected for a job. Alright. We're going to cut us some onion on there. Remember that onion is good for you. This bread is not real life you want to skip the bread go with the lettuce boats cups whatever you want to call them we're gonna put a little cilantro on here there's a lot of cilantro we'll put a little cilantro on there we're going to put us some avocado on there and you can skip out on the avocado avocado is something that i like and other people like okay it is it makes the sandwich just that much healthy. Your heart will be happy because it's, it's rich in a lot of omegas. A lot is has a, a lot of good fats for the body. A lot of good fats, not the bad fats. All right. So we have the bread. We have purple onion. Have our spread on there. Avocado. All right. Now, we get to put our shrimp on there. And you want a piece of shrimp in every bite. And you can add, uh, ooh, that's pretty. There you go. Don't forget to sprinkle it. And you can add a piece of lettuce to it. Do it like that. Put the piece of lettuce over to the side. It's up to you. Not my fault. He ain't gonna stay on there. See? No cheese. You don't need the cheese because you already put the Parmesan cheese on there. Look at that. See that? See how pretty that is? And kind of when you're ready to serve it to somebody, push it back like that. You can um, wipe the plate down for one before you serve it to somebody. And then you take some tomatoes and line them up across here. That's all you need. That's the only thing. Or you can make the, the sandwich the focal point of the plate and voila, that's how they get it. Just like that. Alright. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's cook. Let's eat. It's Vittles time. Peace out. Holla at ya.